Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video, we have got these uh, two identical uh, rectangles uh, put together as you can see in this uh, diagram. And as a result, we get this uh, purple uh, shaded region uh, in between them. And furthermore, the side lengths of these rectangles are 7 cm and 21 cm. In other words, this length is 21 cm and this width is 7 cm. And likewise, this width is 7 and this length is 21 uh, centimeter as well and now our task is to calculate the area of this uh, purple uh, shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent uh, true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, green uh, shaded uh, triangle and since we are dealing with these uh, rectangles, so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees. So therefore we are dealing with this uh, right uh, triangle. And now let's assume that this uh, side length uh, of this uh, green triangle is uh, x centimeter. Then by symmetry this uh, side length has got to be x uh, as well. And now we know that this whole length is 21. So therefore, this length has got to be 21 minus x. And now we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this green triangle to solve for x value. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. Let me go ahead and call this uh, longest leg as our side uh, c. I'm going to call this side a and this side uh, lowercase b. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. So a square in our case is going to be x square. b in our case is 7. It's going to become 7 square equal to c in our case is 21 minus x whole square. So let's go ahead and simplify. We're going to get x square plus 7 square is 49 equals to and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square could be written as a square minus 2ab plus b square. We are going to apply it on the right hand side binomial. So that is going to give us 441 minus 42x plus x square and now we can see x square on the left hand side and x square on the right hand side they are gone so therefore we are ended up with 49 equals to 441 minus 42x and now let's go ahead and move this uh, 42x uh, on the left hand uh, side and at the very same time going to move this uh, 49 uh, on the other side. So therefore we are ended up with the 42x uh, equals to 441 minus uh, 49. So therefore we are ended up with the 42x uh, equal to 392. Let's go ahead and isolate x by dividing by 42 on both sides and this 42 and 42 is gone. So therefore we are ended up with x equals to and on the right hand side this fraction could be reduced to 196 divided by 21. So thus our x value turns out to be 196 divided by 21. So thus our this uh, side length uh, x uh, turns out to be 196 divided by 21. And now we are going to find uh, this uh, side length uh, by replacing this x uh, by this uh, 196 uh, divided by 21. And here I have copied down 21 minus x and I have replaced this x by 196 uh, 
minus uh, 21 and now let's go ahead and simplify this one uh, let me go ahead and tweak this 21 by just putting a one underneath and now we are going to crisscross uh, to subtract therefore 21 times 21 is going to give us uh, 441 and then i'm going to put a minus sign then one times 196 is going to give us uh, 196 uh, all over one times uh, 21 uh, is going to give us uh, 21 at the denominator so therefore this could be written as uh, 245 divided by 21 so therefore uh, this uh, side length uh, turns out to be 245 divided by 21 and now let's focus uh, on this uh, purple shaded region and we can see that this is a parallelogram since uh, this uh, side length uh, is parallel to this side and this side is uh, parallel to this side so therefore we can see that the base of this uh, purple parallelogram is going to be 245 divided by 21 and the height of this uh, parallelogram is going to be 7 so therefore our uh, base uh, turns out to be 245 divided by 21 centimeter and our height uh, turns out to be simply 7 centimeter and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, purple shaded region now and now let's recall the area of a parallelogram uh, formula area equals to base uh, times uh, height in our case our base is 245 divided by 21 and our height is uh, 7 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so the area of this uh, purple shaded region is going to be our base is uh, 245 divided by 21 times our height is uh, 7 now let's go ahead and simplify the right hand side so area of this uh, purple shaded region uh, turns out to be 245 divided by 3 centimeter uh, square and in terms of decimals so the area of this purple shaded region is going to be approximately equal to 81.67 centimeter square so thus the area of this uh, purple shaded region turns out to be 245 divided by 3 centimeters square and that is approximately equal to 81.67 centimeters square and that's our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye